from London to Palermo in December. Ci siamo trasferiti qui uh, con, with my family. Um, it was for a bit to have a bit of an adventure, but also um, in the context of the pandemic. But also, I'm making a film with my partner, a Greek tragedy set here and um, we also wanted to learn Italian properly because we speak a little bit and uh, voila, here we are, that's the plan. <laughs> In London I have a kind of uh, programming collective film club, it's called uh, The Machine That Killed Bad People and uh, it's at the Institute of Contemporary Art. It's every couple of months. And uh, um, in a way, the motivation for that was, was quite uh, egotistical in the sense that uh, I wanted to discuss cinema with my friends who also are cineasts and work in the field of cinema. So it's with um, Erica Balsam, who's a programmer and a critic, Ben Rivers, who's a filmmaker and a director, and uh, Maria Palazzos Cruz, who's a programmer and a critic. And uh, the idea was to uh, try to make a space in our professional lives to come together to watch cinema and to um, you know, provide also a program for the public. Um, and it's sort of a secret that I'm not supposed to say, but uh, <laughs> it's um, very heavily weighted towards um, female directors or female characters or uh, people of color, etc. sort of third wave feminist eh, context, much like uh, Cecilia Queer also. I totally love it. I'm so happy that something like this exists in Palermo. I think it's like, also it was the first time I've been to the cinema in a year and a half. So there was a lot of, uh, <laughs> A sort of joy in that, but also Kamal's film I thought was really fantastic. I love the, um, I really love the a sort of um, very rigorous, in a way, I guess sort of macho formal conceit, but mixed with this really beautiful domestic, gentle, human look at this particular street corner. I really, it was, it's a great, I think he's a, a fantastic filmmaker and it's really timely also to be showing on his films. But um, yeah, and also the Cantura di Culturale is such a like, vital thing that exists for Palermo. Uh, I'm like super happy on all sorts of levels, yeah. <laughs> wow, I mean, we could talk about, I mean, that's a deep question. Yeah, I guess for me, the relationship between new visions and queer cinema could is a, yeah, if you look at the idea of queerness as something that is not like uh, your one's sexuality per se, but a mode of looking uh, at the world or being in the world, and uh, a sort of experimental, non, yeah, in a way, queerness, I see it as non-normative, therefore experimental, not mainstream, something kind of radically, um, radically other and I think that's really easily collapsible with the kind of cinema that I'm interested in uh, which you could also put in this uh, category of new vision which is like um, cinema that's like formally very experimental very radical but also in terms of of content I think and that's like yeah in terms of like inclusivity and the, the people inside the films and I think that's a, a new vision that I'm excited about um, like in a contemporary context, there's also like um, who, who's making the film and what is the methodology in making it and what kind of crew do you have and uh, are they all white men or are there other people also involved in both the production um, in the making of the film and also as the subject of the film. So I, I, li I love the idea of queerness in relation to, to those, in relation to cinema, in relation to those two things, yeah. If that makes sense. <laughs> I'm making, in collaboration with my partner, actually for the first time we are co-directing. He has been quite involved in my films uh, previously, but never literally co-directing. It's a result of the product of the pandemic, I suppose. Um, he's a fantastic filmmaker. 
Um, so we're together making a, an adaptation, a sort of feminist adaptation of Alcestis, um, which we are rethinking the story of Alcestis from the point of view of, uh, from a very feminist point of view. And so the story of Alcestis and her, she's the first Greek uh, mortal to make a journey into the underworld, which was traditionally um, the domain of, uh, of men. This is a very male um, conceit. And she's one of the first female characters, female mortals, to undertake this like very macho journey. And so the film is a kind of collage uh, of that adaptation, but also with my own personal story and journey as a woman and as a mother. So it takes uh, my very non-epic uh, experience in the world and puts it in this epic mythological context. So it's, a, it's an auto-fiction with uh, Alcestis as the frame, essentially, um, set here, um, reflecting our move here as a family and uh, also this is, uh, the relationship between uh, Greek antiquity and Sicily is very profound, uh, yeah, as we all know. So. That's kind of, in a nutshell, the project.